A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a catastrophic turn of events, the death toll from the severe storms that have ravaged Spain has risen to 205, with the eastern region of Valencia bearing the brunt of the disaster. The regional government's emergency services reported that the majority of the fatalities, at least 202, occurred in Valencia alone. The tragic events unfolded as torrential rains led to flash floods, uprooting lives and leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. In addition to the confirmed deaths, there are still dozens of individuals unaccounted for, raising fears that the toll may continue to climb. Defense Minister Margarita Robles has stated that the search efforts are ongoing, with hopes of locating more victims, particularly in vehicles that were stranded during the storm. In response to the devastation, the Spanish government has mobilized an additional 500 soldiers to assist in rescue operations, bringing the total number of troops deployed in the affected areas to over 1,700. These soldiers are primarily focused on the coastal city of Valencia and surrounding municipalities, working tirelessly to reach every village that has been impacted by the floods. The situation in the greater Valencia area is dire, with Transport Minister Oscar Puente reporting that around 80 kilometers of roads and local transport links have been destroyed, isolating communities and complicating rescue efforts. Municipalities like Cataroja, located south of Valencia, are struggling to provide residents with essential supplies, as access to the town remains severely limited. Mayor Lorena Silvent has expressed the urgent need for food, drinking water, and equipment to repair the water supply, noting that power and telecommunications services have not been fully restored in many areas. To facilitate aid distribution, Sylvan is planning to set up supply points for donations and a 24-hour reception point for medical supplies. In the neighboring municipality of Alfafar, Mayor Juan Ramon Adsuara revealed the harsh reality faced by residents, stating that some families are living with the deceased in their homes, and the community has had to clear out supermarkets to provide food for those in need. The outpouring of support from volunteers in Valencia has been heartening, with many individuals gathering to collect donations and assist in the cleanup efforts. However, the regional government has urged people to refrain from traveling to flood-hit areas to avoid further complicating rescue operations. The weather agency has issued warnings, placing four regions, including Valencia, on amber alert due to the ongoing risk of rain and storms. As the situation continues to evolve, the need for urgent humanitarian assistance grows. The flash floods have left thousands without access to clean water or reliable food sources, and the number of missing individuals remains uncertain. Residents are expressing their anguish over the disaster, with many stating that the lack of timely warnings from authorities contributed to the high death toll. As rescuers work against the clock to comb through the debris and provide aid, the government is facing scrutiny over its response to the disaster. The Prime Minister, Pedro Sanchez, has pledged that the government will provide as much help as needed for as long as necessary, while Defense Minister Robles has linked the unprecedented storm to the ongoing climate crisis. As the community grapples with the aftermath of this tragedy, the resilience and solidarity of the Valencian people shine through as they come together to support one another in the face of overwhelming adversity. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.